It's a pill that promises to lessen the effects of COVID-19 symptoms, but does it also mean less people need to be vaccinated? Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. Pfizer's new pill is set to cut rates of hospitalization and death by nearly 90%. News 8's Regina Ahn spoke with an infectious disease doctor who shares her thoughts on what this new drug means for those who are and are not vaccinated. And doctors say this is an exciting advancement since the beginning of the pandemic last year. Researchers have been trying to find a pill that could treat COVID-19, potentially easing symptoms and speeding recovery. The fact that these are oral, that they're five days, that they're easy to give is extremely exciting news. Infectious disease doctor Monica Gandhi says both Pfizer and Merck's COVID-19 antiviral pill will be a game changer for many people. There are two antiviral pills coming out, but the one that's closest is called Monopiravir, and it's just been approved in the UK, and the FDA is going to um, likely approve it on November 30th. While exciting news, there is some worry that folks will choose not to get vaccinated. Pound of prevention is worth an ounce of cure, that it's of course better not to get COVID to begin with. And what's so amazing about the vaccines is they will prevent you from either, from ever even going through the misery of getting COVID. Gandhi says it's so much better to prevent a disease than to treat it. And I can see a future where even people who are vaccinated but have a mild breakthrough could just get these medications and it would reduce transmission to others and you very unlikely to get very ill. Pfizer also working on a pill. The company said it will ask the FDA and international regulators for authorization as soon as possible. The company tested 775 adults and patients who received the pill along with another antiviral shortly after it showed an 89% reduction in their combined rate of hospitalization or death after a month. This medication specifically inhibits the COVID polymerase, it's called, and it's basically, it brings down the viral load really quickly and it prevents people from getting severe disease. And doctors say vaccination is still the best way to keep yourself protected, but with tens of millions of Americans unvaccinated, this could be a critical step in curbing future waves of infection.